certainly go and try to sustain ourselves um, environmentally, so a lot of effort was put on that. Lots of plans, lots of hard work on the base, so we were the number one installation that the Guard has in terms of sustainability for the environment, so we're very pleased with that. Uh, for our close-in neighbors, they will probably be happy to know, as I briefed the last time, our loud explosive training is done for the month. Uh, so, other than small arms training, which is rifle range, which usually those sounds don't leave our borders, um, that'd certainly be a quiet respite for our neighbors. Uh, as of this week, at the end of it, we have had over 113,000 man days of training already on the post. So um, we're well on track to stay the busiest National Guard Training Center in the United States. Um, this week, uh, you watch some of the news coverage, we're supporting about a thousand sol man soldier force, which is down in D.C. supporting the inauguration. So we've been kind of busy with that for their reach back to our state headquarters for command and control and continuing to go on with that. Um, also, we've reached out to the townships, to Union Township, and starting to do some of the initial planning that we have is in terms of as we finish our access control points for the installation incorporating the townships with that for road planning and some of the other things as we move forward with that military construction project. Um, with that, realistically, before you will see gates on the roads, I'll go out on the limb here and say that's probably going to be at least a year and a half in the future when you'll see that. So. A lot of work to do on that. We certainly want to ensure that we have full access to the community to come on board the base. Um, a lot of procedures are going to work, be worked out with that. We are going to have a manned visitor center, so somebody that does not have a valid credential to just come freely through the gate, they'll be able to stop in our visitor center and get a visitor's pass and come in and do things on post. Um, conduct their business, go to the credit union, use our community club, use our pool, um, avail themselves if they're a veteran to the veteran services at our state headquarters. So lots of work to be done on that and we need help and partnership from the surrounding municipalities as we work through this. So.